Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where iron chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the iron chef and challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the iron chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, Formula One drivers who constantly travel around the world and get to visit the best restaurants at each race venue are quite fastidious when it comes to food. Not surprisingly, I've heard that a couple of Japan's top drivers, Aguri Suzuki and Ukyo Katayama, are also a bit choosy like this. But after experiencing all the great cuisines of the world, there is one place they always go to when back in Japan, an Italian restaurant in Shibuya. And yes, today's challenger is from that restaurant. He's a great favorite of the Formula One crowd, the head chef of Aroma in Shibuya, Hideki Osako. His recipes get along extremely well with my fussy taste buds. His style of Italian is really to my liking. Hideki Osako, this man has an interesting career. When he was a boy, he dreamed of becoming a sushi chef. But he gave up on that, and when he was still a skinny 19-year-old, he entered the world of French cooking. For six years, he was engrossed in learning about French sauces. But, wanting to expand his horizons, he suddenly set his eyes on Italian cooking at the age of 25, and he soon created his own niche. Then, at 26, when his weight ballooned to 220 pounds, he was scouted by Ho Ho House in Shibuya as head chef. I always blend the best elements of both French and Italian cooking. I would say that's my particular style of cooking. And Osako was recently headhunted to Aroma, another Italian restaurant in the same area. He is always successful in harmonizing French sauces with his Italian recipes, using sensitive seasoning, dynamic dishes maintaining the natural flavor, and sometimes shape of the ingredients are given his magical touch. And this challenger has declared to me that he is taking the battle with my Iron Chef absolutely seriously. Since I'm taking on an Iron Chef, I gotta go all the way. Therefore, if I fail, I have to take it like a man and shave all my hair off. I suppose it'll grow again. Now, Osako, rev yourself up, cause your race is about to begin. Uh, good luck. I think you have the caliber to win. I'm behind you all the way. I'll defeat an Iron Chef.
The cooking of today's Challenger has attracted a stable of F1 race car drivers. And keeping with that, we've got racetrack, kitchen, stadium, queen, Mayuko Takata. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Nice to be here. Takata-san, today's yes. Challenger says he'll shave his head if he loses this battle. Was? Is that right? I can't wait to see the battle. Or maybe <laughs> afterwards. Okay, and we've also got Dr. Yuki Hatori. Doc. Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. このキッチンスタジアムに足を踏み入れる料理人。その多くは名のある常連客を持っています。しかし今日の挑戦者はちょっと特別。鈴木アグリ、片山右京をはじめとする多くのレーサーたちに愛されている料理人です。世界中の一
and bang a gong we are on mushroom battle beginning and there he goes osako all 230 pounds running to the ingredient stand big man moving fast up the steps good stride and now both osako and chen grabbing a hold collecting mushrooms from the several types up there actually there are five types up there at the stand and doc can you tell us what we might be looking for mushrooms in italian and chinese cooking today sure well let me explain it this way we know italian cooking uses a lot of olive oil and butter for sauteing, right? Right. And mushrooms generally go quite well with oils. Okay. And we all know that the use of oil is also the key to Chinese food as well, right? So the combination of mushrooms and oils is what we should really be keeping an eye on today. Okay, now these are Mai Take, a domestic variety. Right, yeah. And here on the Iron Chef side, a la Michiba, Chen, but uh, I don't think that's a menu there, more like a memo or something. Yeah, you're right. Okay, jotting down some notes, and I believe here, Osako opening up some clams. Uh, you are right, yes. Okay, and clams, they're a good match with mushrooms? Very much so, yeah. Oh, yeah, very nice. Fukuzan. From the floor, Shinichiro Ota, go ahead. Yeah, let me give you the ingredients that we have spotted on the challenger side so far. He's starting out with clams, cockles, scampi, rice, and pearl onions, and from what we can tell, he's planning to use all five types of mushrooms. All right. Oh, that'd be nice. And mm. scampi, the... Yeah, they're long-clawed prods. Okay. Oh, yes. All oh, right. Right there. And yeah, you, you see them. Yeah. You can get these at the supermarket these days. Uh, these are actually kind of rare. They're imported. Wow. The claws are so thin and delicate. Nice yeah. color, though. Mm, very much. All so. right. Yes. Chen with the walk here. Uh, shiitake mushrooms, uh, oriental variety. I Frying think. up the shiitake mushrooms right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, now I have a list of ingredients that the Iron Chef has chosen. On his side, we have dried scallops, dried shrimp, ground pork, and fresh soybeans. And it looks like he intends to use all five types of mushrooms as well. Oh, oh right. actually, make that six types. He has his own Namiko mushrooms. All right. Oh, Namiko. Wow. Okay. So he's got six types of mushrooms there. Six. That'd wow. be good. All right. Thought there were only five. And now on Osako's side, these are the... Um, Those are cockles. Okay. A smaller oh, version yes. of clams. Right. Mm. Yeah. Going to be using both. Yep, for vongole sauce. He was making rice before, so it could be risotto. Oh, yeah, it could be. You're right. Risotto. This would go for risotto? Well, we're not 100% sure on that one yet. All right, we'll hold off on that. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, I asked challenger Osaka what he thinks about the mushrooms today for the theme ingredient, and he said, I guessed completely wrong, so I'm very confused right now. But I am thinking about a mushroom-only pizza. I've never made something like that, but I'd like to try it. Pizza. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Wow, well, I've had mushroom-only pizza before. It was really good. Mm. All right, and boy, Osaka, all Already, big beads of perspiration dropping off his forehead. Unbelievable. <laughs> Watch out below there. And today's weigh-in before the battle, he came out a shade under 230 pounds. Wow. Is this a boxing match? Or? Well, we'll, we'll weigh him afterwards, <laughs> see how much he drops. Again, this man, he has race drivers Suzuki and Katayama in his corner. And he's vowed to shave off his hair if he loses. No one else has ever come in here and made that type no, of vow. That's for sure. Will he do it here, I wonder? Yes. I told Iron Chef Chen about that, that the challenger says that he'll shave his head if he loses. And Chen San said, don't get any ideas about getting me to do something like that. No, thank you. But I am just as serious about today. But don't try and get me to smile either. Well, it looks like he's already had a haircut. <laughs> you have to think of it. You know, he hasn't really smiled yet today, well, dead he? serious today he is. Especially. Oh, oh. there he goes. He's smiling. <laughs> Didn't that okay. look a little forced? <laughs> Chen is still stinging over that loss last time out to Katsuyo Kobayashi, the second female challenger we've had in Kitchen Stadium, with Chen also having lost to the first female challenger. So going down to both of them, and right now he's got to be feeling like he's on shaky ground. Osako knowing all this as well. Yes. Yeah, a quick observation from the challenger side. When he looked up at the clock and saw that 10 minutes had already gone by, he mumbled to himself, great, I'm losing time and I'm already behind. Oh. Well, paying attention to the clock early. Well, nobody likes to work under pressure. Now a little sense of urgency creeping in. Still has lots of time to go in this one, but uh, just like his race car driving buddies, have to think time. Keep it in mind. Oh, yeah. foie gras. Yeah, look at that, the foie gras. Mm. Okay, foie gras is out. Mm -hmm. And starting to slice that up. Earlier, Ota reported Osako had plans to make a mushroom pizza. Yeah, this won't be for the pizza, though. Hmm. Not a pizza. Not no. a foie gras pizza. No. <laughs> okay. Again, it was mushroom pizza, what he said. And now on this side, the Iron Chef with the cleaver in hand and continuing to chop and several panfuls of chopped up mushrooms at the ready right there. I know, that's all he's been doing so far. 
Chen, today he's like the junior apprentice in the kitchen doing all the cutting work over there. <laughs> and as he cuts, though, his mushroom forces are being assembled and marshaled, and he likes that. Kusan! <laughs> yes. Challenger Osako says that his pizza dough is not leavening or rising as quickly as he wanted it to, so he's gone from pressure to panicking a bit. He also says he still isn't sure about the number of dishes he'll be able to finish uh, oh. today. Oh, mm. that's too bad. And a grim expression there, and more sweat drops rolling <laughs> off. Bad news about his pizza dough not leavening. Doc, what's that mean exactly? Well, it just means the yeast isn't uh, active enough right yet to enlarge or to rise. All right. Yeah. Oh. So usually pizza chefs leave the dough under a temperature around 83 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be about 28 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, I believe. Does take time, but let's see if he is able to get that together. Yeah. If we can take a look at the Iron Chef here. All right, let's get there, Chen, and in close. Some yellow bell peppers. Oh, yeah, yellow peppers, yes. And mm. cutting away the inside of it huh? for a bowl or something. It could mm, be, yeah. Maybe. I don't get that. No, interesting. Okay, and kind of put back together, though. Oh, yeah, I think they are for bowls. Okay, for huh? stuff stuffing something in. Yeah, I would think so. And here, challenger side, ah. rice in the pot, risotto, we think. Yeah, mm. definitely risotto, and clam soup in there, I think. So he'll cook it. And that's loaded with sassinic acid, and that's an important element for, for the flavor. All right. It's a great way to cook mushrooms. Wonderful. Mm. Okay. Fukuzan. Yes. Yeah, as Iron Chef Chen was cooking his shiitake mushrooms, he was talking to himself, saying, you must understand the feelings of the mushrooms, what they want to become in order to win this battle. All right, the mushrooms' <laughs> feelings, huh? I, I tell you, losing that last battle may have really gotten to the Iron Chef. Yes. As Iron Chef Chen was cooking his shiitake mushrooms, he was talking to himself, saying, you must understand the feelings of the mushrooms, what they want to become in order to win this battle. The mushrooms' feelings, <laughs> I tell you, losing that last battle might have really gotten to him. Well, let's uh, get away from the philosophical and get back to the material here. Okay, the light stir-fried, the mushrooms are off, and where will he take these? Uh, hot and spicy, I think. Szechuan. Yeah, that is one possibility. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yeah, I also wanted to mention that it looks like Chen has decided on five dishes today to complete his course menu. Back to you. Five, okay. Five, one more than you thought he might have. Right, yeah. But the time limit could alter that. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes they give up on one or two, especially Chen. Oh. Uh, you'd like him to do that today, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's not fair, no. Okay. Hey, okay, what's this now? Up over here. Oh, truffles, okay. Challenger side. Yeah. Truffles, and he already had... Uh, uh, Fuck world. Yes. And you know, truffles, We've right. already got two of the three most luxurious ingredients in the world out here. All right. right. Now back with Chen. Okay, you know, I'm thinking that these ingredients are for a rice dish. These here. Hmm. Yeah. Don't yeah, because the water content, too. Yeah, don't you think so? You, you think I'm I'm on the ball here? Or? Well, it could be for a fried noodle dish or something. All uh, right. But it has to be thickened as a sauce first, right? Okay. Where did we find her? She knows too much. <laughs> hey, maybe she's just dropping hints about what she wants to try today. <laughs> that could be. Oh, busted. You got hey, that right. More like a wish list. Okay. So. And fried noodles is what you'd like, and why not? And now we'll get back to the challenger here, but yes, what's cheese. He up? Mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella, yeah. Mozzarella. Yes, yeah. mozzarella rolls right off the tongue there. <laughs> well. It's a little difficult when it's written phonetically in Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Originally, this cheese was made from milk of water buffalo. Uh, I've had it many times in tomato salads. Oh, Fukuzan. like an appetizer, yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I've just been informed that on the Iron Chef's side, they have started making their rice. Ota, you say Iron Chef? Yeah, that's right. All right, uh. and we've got a shot there, and... Yes, the boiled mushrooms, they could hook up with the rice. Yeah, I think we were right. And with that kind of coloring, it should be very nice. You're the man, Doc. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, now Osako and into the oven there. Oh, okay, now what, what's that? And scampi prawns. Oh, the long claw. Okay, the prawns in there, yes. Yeah, an update from the challenger's side. He has prepared some cherry wood chips. Evidently, one of his dishes is going to be smoked. Oh, okay. Get the smoking effect. Okay, right, but for what, nice. though? Uh, probably the prawns, or maybe the mushrooms. Smoked mushrooms. That's a possibility, yeah. Hmm. Mm, okay, well, that would be rather mushrooms? interesting. You smoke them raw? Yeah, you you take them fresh and, and smoke them there. It could All work. right. Sure. And now the Three Iron Chef, 30 minutes left. gone, 30 minutes to go in the battle. Okay, well, it'll be prawns or mushrooms. I For think the we've smoking decided, effect, yeah. just yeah. into the second half now. And now oh. what are we looking at here? And Chinsan side. Oh, the fresh soybeans were blended in this, right? Okay, oh, raw see. edamame into the food processor. Yeah, that was to whip them up a bit. For a soup or? I don't think think so. Well, at least not yet. Okay, hmm. now what's... Oh, the wood chips. Here ah. we go. So this would be for the smoke. All right, now we'll find out. So it could be maitake mushrooms or the scampi. 
All right. And he's got the prawns right there. Mm -hmm. Challenger Osako, a French and Italian chef. And, he, you know, he's using a Chinese wok for this. <laughs> well, when you're in the, in the kitchen here, you just use whatever you can find. Whatever basically. gets you through the fight, that's all right. Kuzan. Yes. Yeah, Challenger Osako says he couldn't find an actual smoker anywhere in the kitchen stadium. So that's why he's making his own using a Chinese wok. All right. Wow. Not a bad way of doing it, actually. Just mm. his imagination doing the trick right there. Okay. Whoa. Uh, no, he's burning uh, the chips now. Something's burning baby. The foil is on fire. <laughs> uh -oh. This is going to be okay? Uh, it should be no problem, yeah. But it's burning. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, he should get it out of there pretty quick, I think. He'd better. Uh oh wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't think he's paying attention to this. No, they're completely burning. Uh, yeah. Okay, now fire. he pulls that off Whoops. there. Too hot to handle that one. Yeah. And there's uh, a lot of smoke over there. Thankfully, no fire. I'm still worried, though. The chips are still burning, it looks like. All right, now he's got a rack over that. And now the Iron Chef was chopping up shiitake mushrooms, right? Okay, oh, now these yes. are the ones fried earlier, they are? Right, okay. right, that's Oh, right. here we go. Here's the challenger. The, oh, prawns. Oh, yes, yes prawns. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he would put the lid on top of this, so, seal it up. Mm -hmm. So the smoking process is not very difficult at all? No, actually, you can do it at home. So it's burning down the house. <laughs> you know, iron Chef, bean curd oh, sheets. the dried ones, yeah. Yuba, These are actually right. very popular in Chinese cooking. Oh, yes. Oh, he's rolling up the shiitake mushrooms. Lightly fried they were. Oh, that looks great. Black mushrooms only, then? Or? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Several folds, yes. Yeah, the latest word on the challenge is pizza dough that he has been struggling with and agonizing over. He couldn't find the right place or the right temperature to get it to rise properly, so unfortunately, he tells me he's a about to give up on Pizza it. dough's gonna oh, have to be scratched. No. Oh, please don't give up well, on it. Well, he's still got time. Oh. Maybe he doesn't have to throw in the towel on it just yet. You know, I wouldn't mind if the dough wasn't perfect. I'd really like to try this guy's pizza. Oh, yes, definitely. For Me sure. Too. But, you know, right. I, I don't think he'd want to serve something that isn't up to his standards. Pride know? wouldn't allow him to do that. And uh, still over the scampy prawns, they're being smoked. Now, um, you catch this? He's got a small towel wrapped around his head <laughs> yeah, over his the, headband. For the sweat there, yeah. And that'll help. Challenger Osako into the second half. He's been really getting a workout in this battle. The man who has the F1 drivers behind him has got Kuzan. himself going in high gear. Yes. Yeah, we've just been told that the Challenger has now moved on to preparing spaghetti. Back oh, to you. All right, so spaghetti on the Challenger side. Perhaps pasta being used as a substitute for his pizza. Or maybe he would have had that one in mind all along. We're not quite sure about no, that. No, no, can't really tell. And now the Iron Chef is doing the hot and spicy. Sejuan oh, finish yes. there. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. And is this ground beef here? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, and he's ready to drop some soup in. There it goes. Mm -hmm. And we also saw him making uh, some triangular-looking items using the yuba wrapping the shiitake mushrooms. Mm. Now the Iron Chef with the taste test. And there are those items. And what will mm. he do with these? Um, I think a good possibility would be frying. Fry them oh, up. Yeah, yeah, that'll be nice and crispy. All right, mm -hmm. well, that sounds fine for sure. And now back to the challenger. The risotto there thickening up nicely. And a little more of the broth added. And these are maitake mushrooms in the pan. And... Maybe they could go over the risotto. Oh, that's a possibility. Mm, mm, not too sure. Yeah. My take risotto. How about that? Well, mm. it's a definite possibility. Yeah. Okay. Now here. And what's this? Um, Yoga. Oh, okay. Japanese, Japanese ginger. ginger yeah. Right. So now, a little touch of Japanese. They have this one in Italy. I don't think so. Oh, I've no. never had it in Italian <laughs> no. dishes before. No, it's only used in Japan. Uh, only here. Yeah. Okay, now less than 20 minutes to go. Yeah, they don't use that in China, I'm sure. No, really? <laughs> and uh, the Iron Chef, we said frying, but look at this, we were wrong. Well, no, well, this is not too far off. Yeah, pretty well, close. cooking it in oil, though. It's quite similar, though. Okay, and now get a shot of the Challenger. I think he's even using wasabi. Oh, yes, oh. incredible, they are. Ginger oh. and now wasabi for an Italian cuisine chef turning oh. Japanese. Yeah. And he's got the beat as well, yes. <laughs> Challenger Osako is still fighting the clock and getting more irritated with his assistants by the minute. When they don't move fast enough for him or in a way that he expects them to, he shouts, move it or just do what I tell you to. Yeah. Just get moving like he is. <laughs> oh, look at this. Now, this one's spicy. Well, Hot spicy? and spicy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's the one with the ground beef in it, right? All right, and still waiting for the mushrooms. And now look what he's doing to this. What? The Yuba wrap shiitake pieces. Wow, I was oh. not expecting him to do this. Wow. I guess to make it easier to eat? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, maybe. Okay, now we gotta see. Oh, that's oh. where it's going. Okay. Wow, that's pretty intricate, isn't it? Wow, All right. Yes. And there's your mushroom in the dish. Wow, look at that. I'm checking that one out. Hmm. Zooming oh, in on yeah. it right there. That's nice, that's yeah. Great. Good job. Oh, yes. Okay, and now I think, oh, there it is, the foie gras, yeah. Pan frying at once. Fried foie gras, courtesy of Osako, and huge pieces of the delicacy. <laughs> yeah, and if you check this out, the spaghetti going in? Yes, spaghetti dropped into the boiling oh, pot. Oh, look. 
Right here, oh, Iron Chef and this ago. one already. There are mushrooms well, in it, right? And maitake? Yeah, maitake mm -hmm. used in this one, yeah. Okay, and some green vegetable items as well. So not just maitake then. Well... Hmm. So, oh no, sorry, it is maitake, yeah, and uh -huh. something else. Okay. Okay, oh, and he's mixed this into the rice, you see? All right, oh, yes, that's what he's right. doing. All right, but I wasn't perfect on this one because uh, I said he'd cook it in after mixing it, but it's the other way around. I don't mind as long as it tastes good. <laughs> it certainly looks mouth-watering oh, right there. Yeah, no question at all, mm. look at that. All right, and now the challenger, Osaka, and I tell you, he is looking anything but fired up right now over there with the plates. Mm. And the body language suggesting that he's really feeling up against it now in the late going of the battle, less than 15 minutes. First he said he would win, then he said he'd shave his hair, all of it, off if he lost. And now he's uh, at the back of the kitchen, starting to scramble around back there. Oh, yeah. Brought to our attention by a couple of F1 race car drivers. He's been racing around the kitchen most of the battle. Maybe he could use a pit stop right now, but he's not gonna be able to have one. Can he keep his motor humming another 13 minutes or so and get the job done? Pasta, Yep. Right. Spaghetti's off. Should be al dente right now. And mm. he'll combine that with mushrooms or mushrooms in a sauce, that's possible. And mm. now here's Chen scooping out the rice. What a large pot. Big earthenware pot. He'll dish it out to the panel come tasting time. Right, yeah. And among the dishes we've seen so far today, that's the one I'd really like to try right there. Uh, that would yeah, be a good like, choice. But we've scrumptious. still got more to come. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> All right, now Osako getting into the plating of this one. Mushrooms, a few types, and a potato there, I think. It looks okay. Yeah, that looks very good. Mm -hmm. Take a stab here. Maybe foie gras will end up on uh, top of this one. I think you're right, yeah. All right, good now deal. working with his uh, risotto with the mushrooms mixed into it. Okay, and Namiko mushrooms. Too. Combo of so, Namiko and Enoki mushrooms yeah. right on top of oh, that one. Yeah. That's a nice color, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it looks definitely. appetizing mm -hmm. as well. So you're switching over to this one now for your favorite? <laughs> <Okay>. or... <laughs> <laughs> this looks delicious, though. So salt flavored in clam soup. Wow. Oh, wow, look, wasabi. Grated yeah. wasabi going in, and the point here for that? Uh, probably just for a little bit of a, a sting or tang to it, yeah. But they okay. never use wasabi in Italian dishes. <laughs> what is this? It's unheard of. No, no. <laughs> no this way. Is first for all of us. Yeah, yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Fukuzan? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like the challenger has tentatively settled on making four dishes today. All right, four of them, and there is his foie gras on mushrooms. Wow. This is salt flavored in clam soup. Look, wasabi. Oh, yeah. Grated wasabi going in there, and the point of this uh, being? Just for a bit of a sting or tang, I guess. But they never use wasabi in Italian dishes. It's <laughs> no, unheard never. of. No, never. No way. It's a first for all of us. That's for sure. Fukuzan! Yes. Yeah, it looks like the challenger has tentatively settled on making four dishes today. All right, four mm. of them, and there is his foie gras on mushrooms. Wow, with truffles, too. Mm. Mushrooms, truffles, and foie gras all ten together now, to the go. luxurious <laughs> trifecta, now in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, uh, no one's gonna dislike that one, boy. No, now, Chen, sure. bell pepper in bell pepper, a couple of shiso leaves underneath and on the other side some tropical flowers whoa oh, yeah look at that, look at yeah, that. Okay. wow oh that's an edible flower you can actually eat the petals you can eat this yeah wow, that they're, sounds like fun they're to eat. used for cooking now that's yeah. a twist mm. we've got to think about what he'll stuff in that bell pepper though I was kind of hoping you'd forgot about those like I all still right don't we'll know. get back there but here now with Osako and tossing that spaghetti <laughs> is this regular spaghetti or is it more like fettuccine flat it, it seems a bit on the flat side right, doesn't it yes. yeah all right, just a bit flat. And yes, the mushrooms wow. are in there, mm -hmm. tossing and flip-flopping. Wow, that's great. Giving that a work over, the full treatment there. And basically, what kind of flavor are we talking about with this? Just a straight ahead salt flavor. Okay. Yeah. Mmm, I can't wait to try this. Well, this is another one that's looking good. <laughs> All right, two so far confirmed on the challenger side. You've got his spaghetti, risotto, hold, hold it, make it three. He's also got the foie gras, truffles, mushrooms, dish, so not doing so bad. Hey, sorry, what check this out. The Iron Chef adding something here. Cheese? Sprinkling uh, some herbs on saw... these. Oh, well, I think it's cheese. Oh, here, the mozzarella cheese. Right. Oh, mozzarella, okay. The mozzarella, yes. Yeah, into the spaghetti by Osako. Now, here's the one by okay. Chen. The uh, namikos. A yeah, soup. this is a soup. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, according to the information that I have Chen Sun will be adding fresh soybean paste to this soup. All right, oh. soybean paste to go into the soup. That would be for aroma and texture. 
Well, on both sides, dishes coming to fruition as we move into the home stretch and here oh the Challenger God. plate and his spaghetti, chunks of mozzarella cheese in there. Mm, that looks really yummy. Oh, you're you're lucky enough to get to try it. You know, <laughs> I think that's the one I would really like to try. Oh, yes. As Osako continues to unload. And the scampi oh, prawns. The, yeah. Mm, yeah. the smoked ones. Yeah, oh, and I wow. see some diced tomatoes over there as okay, well. Okay, kind of in a sauce. And now mushrooms. This one looks splendid, too. Oh, it does, doesn't it? The Challenger his work is looking just fine after all. He's very good at using colors. All go. right, three minutes left and continuing to pile the mushrooms onto his smoked scampi prawns is Osako, is Chen trying to finish up in the remaining time? Uh, he's got lots of time. Three minutes is, is fine for him. Even one minute is okay. Okay, and quite apparent here, he's not oh, yeah. racing in. He's got it on cruise control coming into the finish. Hmm. The Iron Chef, and look at what? this. Look, he's checking <laughs> out Chen's side. Osako over to Chen's side. Says. Well, I guess he's got the time. I so. take that to mean he is done then. Hmm, yeah, but Chen's <laughs> seems irritated by him watching. Uh, look, they're talking. Well, I think the Iron Chef's trying to get him back to where he came from. Uh, doesn't have time for any small talk. <laughs> and Osako did go back. Chen, you know, he is under some pressure today. Now, mm. did he just add some noodles there? Okay, let's see. On this one here? Uh, oh, jellyfish. Uh, jellyfish, okay. Okay, this is a very famous recipe, but it's not Szechuan. Oh, fumble, but not a Szechuan dish. No, and it uses both mushrooms and jellyfish. Okay, the Iron Chef uh, yes, getting that one done. To... Okay, that, that would be to stuff the bell peppers. Oh, yes, right. and here they go right. with it. The mushrooms and jellyfish being loaded into a bell pepper bowl and bell pepper and got a cap to the side there, visually pleasing with that one. And on the challenge side, Osako, hands on hips at a standstill. He's got to be done. The man was panicking early. And now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds in this mushroom battle, finishing with the filling of the bell peppers on Chen's side. He's really easing back now. Yeah. And so after some false starts, missteps, the challenger in the end and the Iron Chef too, both managing the clock well enough in this one. About 10 minutes into the battle, Osako feeling the pressure of the time limit weighing down on him, really kicking it into high gear, able to finish seconds. up all his dishes with three, four minutes to spare. There's a shot of the Iron Chef's hot and spicy ground beef topped with fried Yuba wrapped shiitake mushrooms, attempting to find favor with the flavor of that one as he will do with his soup too, his Nameko mushroom soup. This also has edamame beans in it, processed and dissolved in the broth. The soup is on there Five and seconds. hot it is. Maybe even too Three, hot to handle two, for the Iron Chef. One. The final seconds tick All down time. and that's it. The cooking's done. The mushroom battle is over. You were struggling a bit in the first half. How do you feel now? Well, the theme was completely different from what I was anticipating, uh -huh. so I had to start from scratch, mm. and I rushed too much. Because of that, I finished everything just a little too early. Ooh, I see. And how are those dishes? Well, I did my best. Do you feel you can win with what you've created? Right now, I don't care about that. I feel really uh -huh. good and satisfied. Okay, great. Yeah. You seemed more serious yeah. and businesslike this time. Well, the challenger has the looks of a great chef. Oh? Seeing him, you know, I was really fired up. So that's what yeah. it was. Did things turn out the way you'd hoped? Well, I did my best. And most things did turn out the way I planned, I think. Challenger Osako finishes with four dishes, ditching his pizza attempt. First, mushroom pasta, using four different types of mushrooms. The aroma of garlic is infused in the mozzarella cheese. Mushroom and foie gras in sherry vinegar sauce. Pieces of sauteed foie gras and truffles rest atop mushrooms, finished in a sherry vinegar sauce. Mushroom and clam risotto, nicely packaged in a clam soup. The flavor is accentuated by the additions of wasabi and lemon. Last, sautéed maitake mushrooms on smoked scampi. Maitake mushrooms laid on smoked prawns enjoyed in a citrus-flavored sauce. Iron Chef Chen completed five dishes. First, maitake and scallops in oyster sauce. Oyster sauce and water used to rehydrate the dried scallops. Shiitake and yuba with hot and spicy sauce. Shiitake mushrooms wrapped in yuba, the Szechuan hot bean paste tying it all together. Third is stir-fried mushroom trio. It's beautifully served in a yellow bell pepper bowl. The trio is enjoyed with a mustard and vinegar sauce. Fourth is mushroom soup. The secret is the fresh edamame paste dissolved in the soup. It adds a mild and refreshing touch. Last, chicken and mushroom rice. All five types of mushrooms used for the theme combined with chicken and flavored with chili pepper and Tian Mian Zhan paste. It's life on the edge behind the wheel of an F1 race car for drivers Aguri Suzuki and Ukio Katayama. 
Away from the track, these finicky eaters sing the praises of this man who blends elements of French and Italian cooking in the kitchen of his restaurant. Today's challenger, Hideki Osako. Osako will take on Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, still shaken by his loss last time to Ms. Kobayashi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme with the admonishment, never let them take a bath. Mushrooms, five varieties. Challenger Osako struggles at times, but manages to finish four dishes. Iron Chef Chen completes a mighty fine looking set of five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment for the mushroom battle. On the panel today are Egyptian archeologist Sakuji Yoshimura, actress Mayuko Takata, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Osako. Today's theme was mushrooms. The most important element of mushrooms, of course, is their aroma, their essence. I kept that in mind while trying to maintain a balance among the courses. The garlic and the cheese and mushrooms are very nicely combined, I think. The challenger may look bold, but he did a lot of intricate work, like removing the intestines of the clams. He did a lot of sensitive prep work while I was watching the battle. I knew this man would produce many good dishes. This is well balanced and tells me the caliber of the chef. Thank you, sir. The texture of the foie gras and that of the mushrooms go well. The taste and texture are harmonized in my mouth. I liked it very much. Thank you very much. One thing that I must point out, however, is you used too many truffles in this one, I felt. Now Osako will serve his mushroom and clam risotto. Oh, the wasabi really works well in this dish. I think the rice is a bit too soft for me. Well, what I had in mind was the jelly-like texture of this type of mushroom I was using here. And you chose to go soft. I was thinking about the Japanese-style porridge oh. and texture. This is a winner, oh. using maitake only. This is really good. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, thank you. I love scampi. Uh -huh. When I'm stationed in Cairo, I'll go all the way to Rome to eat this. I've never had it smoked like this. Very nice. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. The variety in seasoning and the variety of mushrooms, I mean, which ones match better with which recipe? That was in my mind, and the texture as well. I thought of all those things when I was cooking. So slick. Well, if this was Japanese, the finish would be miso and vinegar, don't you think? He finished it with oyster sauce to reinforce the fact that it's a Chinese dish. Mm. As the very first dish, I mean as an appetizer, this is really perfect. I think you have come a long way. I know that expression could be insulting. Oh, no. <laughs> You're getting Thank you. better and better. It's spicy, and the yuba is well cooked um, in oil, um, fried, so it's almost like a um, thin pan-fried omelet in oh, flavor. Yeah. Yes, maybe. This looks almost too good to touch. This style is called fukiyose, if it were a Japanese dish. Uh, that crossed my mind a bit. The flavors of all the different mushrooms are not interfering with each other. I hear a very nice harmony coming from this dish. After the soup, Chen now serving his chicken and mushroom rice. It's like Chinese sticky mm. rice dish. Yes, right? that's it. Uh huh. But this doesn't use glutinous rice, so it's not as heavy. I could go for another helping. Well, yeah, good. A bit of spiciness would have been enough. I think the master this time overlooked the preference of the tasters. I mean, this is too hot for me. If you ask me how the flavor was, I have to say it was too hot to tell. A bit too hot. Hirano-san, hot under the collar. Will it cost Chen? We'll find out.
日の挑戦者の料理それはイタリアンとフレンチそれに和食のいい面をミックスさせたオリジナリティあふれる料理だったと思いますこういう料理を食べている片山右京の今後の日本での活躍が期待されますそれでは発表します Today, the man who satisfies the F1 race drivers finding himself in a race against both Time and the Iron Chef, challenger Osako also putting his head on the line, the hair of it that is, should he lose. Iron Chef Chen after last time needing to win in the worst way, can he? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef Chen coming back from disaster last time and winning this mushroom battle against a formidable foe, a fellow who has attracted so many fans from the F1 circuit. But it's Chen who gets the checkered flag in this one. He was determined to win and back on track. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. 